Welcome back to the remastered Mega Man Zero No Damage Run. And oh, oh boy, have I been waiting for this run back for over three years now. If you haven't seen the original No Damage Run of this game, you know exactly why I'm so giddy and ecstatic about this stupid rematch. Let me zip it up for now and keep things relatively spoiler free. Oh, you thought this segment of the suffering was for me this time? <laughs> nah, nah, it's for him. Boy, if you don't get... I was in your face!
Oh, oh, oh no! Come back here, you ridiculously buff deer thing! <laughs> Vengeance never tastes so sweet. I don't think that stag will be bothering me anymore. Uh, first, Neo-Arcadian fried chicken and now smoked deer. What a delicacy. Alright, so fun and games out of the way, I failed to bring awareness to any outtakes from the stage itself. Not saying that means the stage is ridiculously easy or anything, but there's just not any noticeable outtakes that were humorous enough. And since I didn't want an empty segment, I figured why not just turn the tables, eh? There's nothing to gripe about here though. The desert section is the dusty old trail that we're far too intimate with by now. The interior of the base and the corridors that lead up to it are fairly straightforward, however, let me clear up one thing before I get everyone's favorite comments hurling my way that are like, you're using TAS you cheater. The stalagmites that fall from the ceiling disables the spikes on the floor where it lands, which allows you to safely land there without fear of dying. It's like right there with proof. If you don't believe me, literally try it out yourself, because I'm not entertaining any of that TAS accusation bullshit anymore from random basement dwellers on the internet. Anyway, I didn't have to worry about any global cycles or weird platforming. As for Blizzak, well, I think the EMS segment spoke for itself. <laughs> Three years later and I have no idea why I struggled with this weirdo. Granted, I didn't use the fire chip back then and was mostly ignorant to charge rod loops, so I can't be too hard on past Magnus. Even when you take the loops out of the equation, the multiple takes in the EMS were exemplary of how you can fight this dude from multiple angles. You can easily avoid getting yourself trapped between ice traps that he throws by simply dashing under him and staying in front so you can safely dash back under him. He's so vulnerable to aggressive point blade combos that it's not even funny. And dashing rapidly allows you to shake off the frost that slows you down before he could shoot you with another blower. Yeah significantly lower than the score I gave this mission three years ago. It was admittedly one of the easier ones now. Keeping movement tight and fixed allowed for an easy consistent pattern against Blizzak for the RNG, so it's safe to say that I've walked away from this three year grudge a better maniac. Wait, that didn't sound right. Anyway, next up we're having a standoff with the leader of the Guardians. Until then, take it easy y'all.